Hey guys, my name is Jason, and today I'm going to walk you through the steps on making your own homemade forge. Um, I have a little project that I've been working on today is a uh, homemade machete, and I want to heat treat this, and I don't have anything to do that with. So uh, I've been watching some YouTube videos, and you know it looks pretty easy to make a homemade forge. So I got some materials over here that we're going to get started with, and uh, hopefully get this metal hot enough to uh, to heat treat it. So let's get started on our forge. All right, so what I've got here is uh, just some materials, some raw materials. Uh, it's a couple different size uh, electric boxes. Um, I got a 90 degree elbow here, a two inch uh, diameter EMT uh, connector for that, that we're gonna be using to attach the 90 to the box. Of course, we have some duct tape. Uh, and a hair dryer which is going to provide the uh, the wind power for my forge uh, Revlon brand picked it up for 10 bucks at uh, Walmart so uh, let me put this stuff together here and give you guys a rough idea on, uh, on how we're going to uh, make this work okay so the basic principle here is we're going to take this smaller box and we're going to put this bigger box on top of it. And the smaller box here is going to be where we're going to put the air in with our hair dryer and our, our EMT 90. We're going to put that EMT 90 in the side there. And as you can see here, the hair dryer fits pretty much snugly right inside of that uh, piece of pipe pretty conveniently. So we're going to attach that pipe to that box, something like that. I think I'm going to end up cutting this box down a little bit. It's a little bit too deep for what I'm looking to do, but this is where the coals are going to be. Um, whoops. I'm going to go ahead and you know drill some holes in here so when these two boxes are put together and the air goes into the little box, it's going to come up through the holes in the bigger box here and uh, and flame up the <laughs> the charcoal so uh, first thing I'm going to do I think is cut this box down about halfway alright I have went ahead and I cut my big box down a little bit to make it just a le little easier to work with this is where we're going to be putting the, the hot coals so hopefully you know this is going to be full of hot coals in there and uh, you know just big enough hopefully to uh, put this blade in there and heat treat it so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna take my drill and I'm gonna drill a two inch diameter hole in the side of the box the small box for this connector and, uh, and then we're gonna put this this 90 in there All right, I got my hole drilled. I'm gonna go ahead and put my connector in. All right, so right here, uh, to make this airtight around the uh, connector and the seal here, I'm just going to uh, wrap it in some duct tape. All right, so now I'm gonna take the, uh, the coal box here and I'm just going to screw it onto the uh, the bottom box or the uh, air box. And try to get it as tight as I can uh, to make a you know an airtight seal. It'd probably be a good idea to maybe put some clay or some you know non-flammable uh, material in between the two boxes just to make it you know as airtight as possible. So all the air coming from the hair dryer. You know, it's going to be coming up through these coals, fanning them to make them uh, red hot. So now that I've got the uh, the large box screwed on to the smaller box. Okay, the next step is for me to take a drill bit and I'm going to be making, uh, you know, just 
a circular pattern of, uh, of holes in that box for the air to come up through. Okay, so here's the uh, the basic design of my uh, little mini forge. Um, the hair dryer feeds down the uh, 90 elbow there to the uh, air box. And I went ahead and uh, drilled some holes in the uh, the coal box here. And when I turn the uh, hair dryer on, I can feel a pretty good air pressure coming through those holes right there. Um, so I think that's about enough holes. I don't want to drill too many holes because I want there to be pretty good airflow in the center. If I need to, I can move the coals around a little bit with a poke stick or something. Um, so yeah, pretty cool design. Uh, just kind of thought of it uh, myself with the materials that I had on hand, uh, except for the hair dryer. I had to run out and buy that. So the next step is to get some coals in it and start a fire and uh, see how it works out. All right, so here's the setup outside. I'm um, just about to light the fire in there. Um, what I got to put inside there is just some uh, regular lump of charcoal, hardwood. Um, I'm not sure if you could use you know charcoal like you would on a charcoal grill or not um, so that's why I got the, the lump charcoal and we're gonna throw it in there and light it up and see what happens some of these pieces look like they're pretty good size uh, I haven't used this product before so I'm gonna try to get the smaller ones in here probably light better I'm going to go ahead and fill this thing right up. Alright, so we're going to let that uh, cook down a little bit, get hot, and uh, I'm going to let it flame up a little bit and let, you know, before I turn the dryer on. Um, get those coals lit so there's my little uh, homemade forge uh, just kind of warming up right now letting the coals heat up you can see I got the the uh, dryer the hair dryer there attached to a piece of conduit that feeds down into the bottom of that box Pretty awesome little setup. Got a couple of uh, knife shapes here that I want to put in there to harden. So that's the whole purpose of me building this forge here. Um, you know, pretty much got the basic idea from you know watching other YouTube videos. This is just some stuff that I had laying around the materials. Uh, turned out to be pretty cool design. Uh, I'm just hoping it's gonna work. It looks like it's working pretty good so far. I'll turn on the dryer here and see if we get any uh, any action. Probably gonna take a little while for those coals to get heat up until they're red hot. And when they're red hot, that's when we'll go ahead and we'll stick the knife in there. So I have the dryer going at full blast right now, and uh, it's really heating up those coals. It uh, seems to be doing the trick really well. Homemade forge. Pretty awesome. I 
thing is just blasting away. I can't believe how well it works. Probably gonna have to put some more coals in there. That is just awesome. This has got to be the coolest thing that I've ever built. I love this forge. It's so freaking cool. Works great. I wasn't sure of the design, but not a problem. Just loaded it up with a little bit more uh, charcoal. And as you can see, it's just, it is red hot in there. Um, so I got my knives in there right now. Gonna let them sit in there for a while and let them get red hot. I got a bucket of oil right here that I'm gonna go ahead and quench those with. Just an awesome little forge design. I should patent it.